they've got a new noise. I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm a bit nostalgic about the original sound that plays when you first switch the drone on. And they've changed it. Like, it's not a big deal, but I love the original sound. So by this point, you'll have seen all the videos about the Mavic 3. So I'm not going to make some epic intro. And I'm also not going to bore you with the specs. But what I am going to do is tell you why this drone is not what I expected. Look at this, though. So this field that's usually full of corn has been all chopped down. So I've got access to this whole thing right now, which is great. So we're gonna go and test the drone. Plenty of room to play with. Nobody about, so it's a perfect location. Don't know if I can film here or not. Just hopefully nobody will come and tell us off. Right, so as you know, crashed my drone. If you've not seen that video, go and watch it. It's a fun one. But what's in here is very exciting. It's the new, you know what, I'm gonna get some scissors. I did an EDC video and kind of took the mick out of people that use knives to get into boxes. <sighs> kind of see what they mean. Might have to get one. Here we go, scissors. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, you already know what's in here because you've seen the title. So there's no surprises here for you. Crikey me. Mavic 3 already. Seems like yesterday I got the Spark. Spark was my first drone. What a great little drone that was. But they've come such a long way. Bringing one out all the time. I don't want to ruin this. This is just the standard version, not the Cine version, and also not the Fly More combo version. Flight time, something like 45 minutes. That's plenty for me. I'm in the air for about 10, 15 minutes max. Look at this. Whoa! -hoo -hoo. I mean, so I wasn't going to show you this yet, but I feel like I have to. I actually got the Mini 2. Videos on this coming soon. It's actually like my hair's wet because I've just been outside to film some stuff with this. As soon as we got it up in the air, started chucking it down. So look at the size difference. Anyway, it's not about that. Love the colour though. That dark grey looks really nice with the orange tips. I guess we've just got to go and test it out. That's flat enough. In all honesty, I didn't know what to talk about when it came to this drone in this video because there's a lot of videos out there already, I didn't want to repeat anything. And other than a few obvious upgrades from the previous drone, I wasn't entirely blown away by the specs on paper. But then I saw the image. As soon as I started flying and I was looking at the image on the screen, I knew there was something special about this drone and the image. And when I started editing it, I was right, it was fantastic. Now DJI's mission statement for this drone was image above everything, and they've definitely achieved that. The best image from a drone yet, hands down, and this sensor has made all the difference. Now I said I'm not gonna bore you with the specs and stuff, but I'm just gonna point out the most important thing. The reason why the image is so good is because it's capturing twice as much information. So before it was 100 megabits per second, and now it's 200 megabits per second. So your video quality is gonna be twice as good. I know that's not how it works, but you know what I mean. That's where the difference lies in this drone, and you can definitely tell when it comes to colour grading. The D-Log footage is amazing to work with. It looks very similar to the Lumix S5 image. So what I started doing was colour grading it the way that I grade the Lumix footage. Because of the dynamic range and how much information is being captured, you can push and pull this image wherever you like, colour grade it however you like. I've tried a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different grades, and they all work really well. It's fantastic. 12.8 stops the dynamic range apparently. Don't have to worry about exposure too much. You've got full control over all the settings. You can get filters for this as well, so that's even more control. It's just so good to work with. It's the best drone I've ever used. I mean, I was pleased with the Mavic 2 Pro, which I'll talk about in a bit, but this, yeah, yeah, I like it more than I thought I was gonna. <laughs> so tell you what I'm not a fan of, this strange muzzle thing. 
Like for a few reasons really. It's just one extra thing to do when you're getting set up and when you're putting the drone away. I like the fact that it kind of protects the gimbal, but I feel like you've still got the blades on show and you've got to sort of grab it at a strange angle. They can still pop out. I don't know, I don't really see the point. I feel like it'd be better if it just was an all-in-one slip cover type thing, like a little sleeve. And also, if you want to plug it in or get the SD card out, you have to undo that anyway. So, it's not the best design. So I feel like when you're in D-Log, I mean, it looks amazing. I, li I like filming in log profiles, love it. But it's a little bit difficult to see what's happening because the image is so flat. So it'd be good. I mean, there might be. I've not really messed about with it properly, but it would be really good if they had a LUT type thing that you could view the image back on when you're filming. I also did some tests in low light because a few people were asking what that's like and I have to say it's no it's no Sony A7S 3 but it's still fantastic in low light. I was blown away. Super good. But I didn't use the Mavic 2 in the in the dark before because there was just no point. Very grainy. But this is a massive step up. I'm really impressed. And you can also still, because sometimes even if you can get away with shooting in low light situations, you struggle to colour grade it. You can't really get the colours that you want without messing the image up. With this, it's not too bad. For a drone, more than happy. Now these shots were filmed in D-Log profile. I did try the standard profile and um, I wasn't blown away. I'll, I'll try it again, I'll give it another go. But what I did notice when filming at low light on the D-Log profile is you've only got two options for ISO, 400 or 800. Whereas on the standard profile, your ISO range is between 100 and 6400. So I love filming in cine mode because it's nice and smooth, you get some really smooth shots. But what's really handy is the normal mode, it goes really quick, you can go up to the higher altitudes really quickly. That just means you can get to your destination quicker and start filming your shots from there. Yeah, rather than like spending half the battery like climbing up, you know what I mean? The handling is really responsive. I don't know, that the stalks feel a little bit longer. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it or if it's the fact that it's got these three modes, cine, normal and sport. You can kind of be really agile with it, but at the same time, really smooth and precise with your movement. So it's definitely the best drone I've ever used for responsiveness and handling in that respect. Love it. Right, okay, watch this. I wanted to test the obstacle avoidance. I'm gonna fly it straight at me and it's gonna miss. You ready? There we go, so we went straight round. You've got two different modes. You can have it to stop when it senses an obstacle, or you can have it move around the obstacle and keep moving in the direction. It doesn't work in low light situations, but the remote will warn you on the screen. It'll flash up on the screen and say that the obstacle avoidance isn't gonna work, so just be mindful of that. As you can see, when it's coming towards me, it moves upwards and around to avoid me. And it's the same thing with these trees. It works, it's amazing, I love it. I don't know what speed it'll work at, it might tell you. I think it all depends really. But different sensors on the different sides have different distances basically that it can recognize objects at. So you still obviously take precautions while you're flying and be very careful, like me. If they could change one thing on this drone, it would be this. Where the SD card slot is, it's very hard to get it out. You can't get your fingers in there. It's really fiddly, look at that. I can't, you like have, no, it's annoying. I can't get it out. So I have a right nightmare every time I want to get my SD card out. Like I need a pair of tweezers or something. How are you meant to get that? Come on, there you go, eventually. So yeah, that'd be one thing I would change. The SD card slot being a little bit more accessible like it was before. And also, they make them different on every single drone. For example, on this one, it goes in with the label facing upwards. And on this one, it's the label facing down. It's just like, why can't they all be the same? I want to put my SD cards in exactly the same way on every thing that I'm using. So I guess like the main question you probably want to know the answer to is, if you've already got the Mavic 2 Pro, should you upgrade to this one? My answer would be, it all depends on what you're doing. If you're getting paid a lot of money and the image is absolutely essential to be spot on, then it'd be worth the money to upgrade to this. If it's not essential, the image is plenty good enough on the Mavic 2 Pro, you're fine with that drone, it's absolutely fine. And if you're doing, just doing YouTube stuff, it doesn't matter. So don't worry about it. 
If you haven't got a drone at all and you think in between the 2 Pro and the Mavic 3, definitely go for the Mavic 3. You'll be blown away. It's amazing. If you want to hear my thoughts on the Mavic Mini 2, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel and switch on notifications because I've got a video coming very soon. I'm looking forward to sharing this one. It's a fun one. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below because I've got plenty more videos coming on this and I want to answer anybody's questions on it. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.